The market in India is so fascinating. Depending upon which state you're in, really does depend upon how you maybe consume the ice cream or maybe what you what you want in your ice cream. So within the market of maybe being in a very industrial place where there's a lot of businesses and people want things really fast, so being able to have something maybe on a stick or kind of a quick takeaway item can be very, very useful. Or maybe it's something like a milkshake that's in, that's in a jug where you can just quickly grab and walk away with it. But then in other states, people want to be able to sit down and eat and enjoy and have the whole experience. And so being able to offer various aspects of that in the industry, I think is very important. But I also think it's really important to allow the consumer to, to realize the quality of what they're eating. The dairy industry in India is vast. We should be using wonderful dairy in all of our products. And at Cold Stone Creamery, we are. The 14% super premium product is key. And being able to allow the consumer to have the quality of the beautiful, wonderful, fresh dairy in their ice cream is absolutely wonderful. You get great protein, you get good fat, and you even have a good source of calcium. How can you go wrong? And you have a delicious sweet treat. No matter what you eat, whether it's in a fine dining restaurant or on the streets of Bangalore or in Delhi or Mumbai, no matter where you are in India, food science is in every single part of that samosa, that prata, that baigan barta, that, al, that, go, that um, alu tiki, no matter what it is, all of it has an impact on food science. When you have a piece of bread and you put it in the tandoori and it turns a little brown, that's Maillard browning reaction. There's a chemical reaction that goes on with all of our food, such as putting um, bacteria or a, or a um, medium to be able to thicken the milk into yogurt and have that sour taste come out. All of it is food science, but what we as consumers need to be able to understand is that there's a, there's a science behind all of it. It doesn't just grow from the ground and become that. So I think that there's a really big opportunity here in India to teach the consumer, to edu educate the consumer about food science, and I'm doing that through ice cream with Cold Stone Creamery, which I think is a really good opportunity. But within even the savory world of, of food, we have that opportunity. So I hope, I know, there's a, I know that there are food scientists here in India. I've met some of them since I've been here. So I hope that we take that opportunity to be able to maybe have a social media channel or maybe have a pamphlet that goes out where people can read and learn more about what's going on with their food. Believe it or not, food is healthy, but food is also a really, really, really unique science and merging those two together is the beauty of food science.